Hi guys, it's Awana Turtle, and today we are opening another box of Pokemon Team Up, the new set. And yep, we're just going to jump right into it. For good luck, we do have a new turtle that was given to me from my girlfriend for Valentine's Day. And all right, let's get into it. As always, if you guys do enjoy the content, please hit that like button. It really does help the channel grow. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button so you do get notified for future content. All right. So we are still chasing the Magikarp and Willlord card, which has continued to elude us. So we do have 12 packs. And let's get into it. Okay, for the first pack we have a Grass Energy, Sabrina Suggestion, Alolan Graveler, Nita, Klefki, Charmander, Mankey, Litten, Emolga, Reverse Kakuna, pretty cool, and then a Ninetales Regular Rare. Let's see, Turtle's taking up a bit of space. I think we can make it work. <clears throat> On to pack number two. Alright, pack number two. Metal Energy. Hitmonchan, Dancing in the City. Jasmine. Dragonair. Ponyard. Staryu. A Sword. A Bug. Dratini. A Reverse Kangkan. Kangaskhan. And then, ooh, so we do have a first tag team card in Celebi Venusaur. Pretty cool. Still not the one we need. I um, feel like we keep pulling the same ones. But, pretty happy with that. 207 HP. All right, so we have a Darkness Energy, a Dana, Spirit Tomb, Viridian Forest, Grimer, Pidgey, Dratini, Ponyard, Alolan Grimer, Volibi, and then a Garvantula, Galvantula. So that card is a stage one. And for single energy, it only has 90 HP, but put a card from your discard pile into your hand, which that alone sounds actually pretty strong. But everything else about it seems a little on the weak side and it's power on nerve. Opponent plays item supporter card from the hand, prevent all effects that are done to this Pokemon. So it doesn't really have much relevance. Unless it's like a Guzma or something. I feel like it doesn't really negate anything else. Okay, we got a Blitzel. Pretty cute Squirtle. Into cool Paris. We do have a reverse Ingo and Emmett. Wouldn't mind getting the full version of that card. And a Skarmory. Fair Energy. Ominate. Water Memory. These cards are terrible. Golduck. Paris. Joltik. Blitzel. That same Squirtle again. Tentacle again. A Lowland Muck Reverse, which is pretty cool. And then, ooh, a Jirachi. Not sure if we pulled this before. Stellar Wish. Once before your turn, your Pokemon active Pokemon, you may look at top five cards of your deck, reveal a trainer card, and add it to your hand. Hmm, that's actually quite good. So 
So if you guys do play the online game, you're interested in obtaining code cards, uh, just let me know in a comment below and I can send one to you. Um, as well as, same thing on Instagram, if you do hit, shoot me a message, I can do the same. Alright, so we do have a Marit for this pack of Vulpix. The reverse, ooh, a Zapdos. I feel like the Zapdos is a legendary bird, I think it's the coolest art, and the Pokemon itself seems pretty strong. And then a Kabutops. Another one that's the fossilized memories. Uh, can't use supporter cards. Is quite restricting, especially in this meta game. Uh, although the rock slide for where you need a fighting energy and the, then double colorless energy, um, the attack itself is just okay. But for stage two, I'm not sure. All right, we got a fighting energy. Charmeleon, Unidentified Fossil, Farfetch'd, this Claymation Pancham, Pharaoh Seed, Pidgeotto, cute little Charmander, Staryu, Dratini, and lastly Alolan Marowak. I think I saw in a post that Alolan Marowak would get a GX form, which I'm pretty excited about. Always was a fan of Cubone. Less so the Marowak, Marowak, but I think it's cool that um, as far as the Alolans go, I feel like Marowak is pretty cool. They're pretty unique. Need Arena, Bronzor, Poochiena, Need Ran, Pancham again, Voltorb, Reverse Little Cute Little Weedle, and then the Alolan Ninetales. So this card is interesting. It basically um, prevents all damage in, uh, by opponents GX or EX Pokemon. So I feel like for certain decks, um, basically you can't be 100% reliant, or otherwise that guy just you know makes your everything powerless. So we got Vulpix, Ponyard, Alolan Geodude, this floating rock with no legs. Mankey, Helioptile, and then Starmie. Alright, so we do have two packs left so far. We just have one hit in the Celebi Venusaur. Let's see if we can't get one more. Alright, Psychic Energy. Charmeleon, Morgan, Flappy, Ferroseed, Meow, Lolan Geodude. Grimer, Pidgey, set of keys, and then a Nidto Queen. Okay, so last pack. Let's see if we can't get one more hit. Um, otherwise, I feel like this would just be a below average opening. Lavender Town, pretty cool War Turtle, Heliolisk, Execute. Helioptile, Meowth in the ball pit, Nidoran, Larvitar, Reverse Tauros, pretty cool, and last pack of the first opening of the box is, ooh, Latios and Latios Rainbow Rare. So we did get a secret slash hyper rare in this opening, and quite pretty happy with this. Um, as far as the tag teams, that's one of the cooler ones in my opinion. And I feel like this card's actually quite viable. Stuff like Malamar and the Malamar setups. So we did hit Hyper Rare as well as a tag team card in a single opening, which is very nice. Okay, so the biggest hits would be obviously the Celebi and Venusaur tag team, and the bigger one, of course, Latias and Latios tag team Rainbow Rare. So that's it for the video guys, hope you enjoyed the opening, um, again if you did enjoy hit that like button and subscribe for future content, other than that, I'm Wad Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time, later.